Hey guys, welcome to Bubbling Panda. So today I'm going to show you how to make this cute and simple elastic waist summer spring type of dress. Here's what it looks like and um, let's get on with the tutorial. So to make the bodice of this dress, I used a shirt as a guide like I always do with all my projects. I know that it's out of the frame here, but I'm about to show you what the shape of my bodice looks like. And here it is. That's the bottom piece, and here is the top piece. If you'll notice that the top piece, the neckline is slightly lower than the back piece. That's totally optional. It's just something that I prefer. Once you have your top and bottom bodice pieces cut out, lay them right sides together and sew the shoulder and the side seams. Next, you're going to cut out the skirt pieces and the skirt width is going to be about 4 inches wider than the width of the bodice and the length of the skirt is going to be as long as you want it I measured from my belly button to the just above my knees which is about 19 inches I know I'm really short so it just depends on how tall you are um, and then cut out your skirt piece Once you have your skirt piece cut out, fold it in half right sides together and sew along the back seam. Once you have your skirt piece, go ahead and flip it right side out and make sure that the back seam is right in the middle when you lay it flat. Then take the top piece, go ahead and insert the skirt piece inside the top piece so that the right sides are facing each other. And when you do this, Make sure that the back seam of the skirt matches the back of the top piece and the side seams of the top piece match the sides of the skirt. Go ahead and pin the bodice or the top piece to the skirt and again make sure that all the seams match. Then sew the bodice or the top piece to the skirt at where you pinned it. So now I'm going to add some elastic to the waistband and there are two ways that you can do this. Um, the first option is to use a thinner piece of elastic which you're going to sew into the seam allowance where you sew the skirt piece to the top piece and stretch the elastic as you sew. The way I'm going to do it is uh, by using a thicker piece of elastic but I'm going to create a casing to insert the elastic into the waistband. To create a casing, I um, pinch a, like a section of the top piece and then I fold it and pin it. I know it sounds weird, but just watch the video and you'll see how I create a casing um, in the waistband. After I'm done pinning, I'm going to go ahead and sew along that line to create a casing for my elastic, but I'm going to leave about 2 inches, like 1 to 2 inches, so that I have a space to insert my elastic into the waistband. Next, I'm going to insert the elastic into my casing. The easiest way to do this is with like a safety pin, but I don't have one on me, so I'm using a small binder clip. It's very, very difficult, so make sure you have a safety pin. Once that's done, I'm going to sew the ends of my elastic together very securely. Then I'm going to close off the casing and sew it shut. There are many ways that you can hem off the raw edges of your dress, but the way I did it was um, for the bottom, I did a rolled hem. I just folded over the fabric twice and sewed along the edges. And for the sleeves and the neckline, I used hem tape. To use the hem tape, I op went ahead and opened up the tape and then I laid my raw edge along the crease of the tape with the wrong side inside the tape. I know that sounds confusing, but watch. Uh, 
Um, once I was done with that, I folded the hem tape over to the right side and top stitched on top of that. And that's it. I'm done. Here is the dress. I decided to wear it with a black belt just to give it some definition. Um, I hope you liked it. And if you make your own dress, please send me pictures. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you later.